middle of insane carnage, bloodshed, and death, a cold, calculating politician decides to make her move in the aftermath of the worst mass shooting in American history as parents, friends, and families desperately search for loved ones. As blood is actually reflected in Las Vegas's rising sun, she decides to manipulate the pain, the anger, and direct it toward lawful gun owners. She tweets, Imagine the deaths if the shooter had a silencer, which the NRA wants to make easier. Hillary, there's a reason you lost the election. As Americans come together, you seek to divide, not sympathize, not empathize, showing just how hollow a tin man you are. In your desperate attempt to be relevant, you go after gun owners and the NRA when this guy wasn't even a member of the NRA. And then you go after the opposing party. Because I can't believe that one whole political party in the greatest country on earth is totally sold to the gun lobby. But she's not done blaming everyone but the shooter. Do you feel like they're complicit, the GOP, the NRA, in the gun epidemic we're seeing in of America? Of course they are. Of course they are. Wait a minute. The NRA and the GOP? How dare you connect law-abiding citizens exercising our Second Amendment rights to a mass murderer of innocent civilians? How dare you call us complicit with a whack-job misfit who is the epitome of evil? But then again, you and your liberal leftist anti-gun friends will use any excuse to disarm Americans. Just as we cannot blame all Muslims for the actions of a few, how about you not blame all gun owners for the actions of Paddock? You know, Hillary, you got to stop trying to be Joan of Arc. Your words ring hollow. And if I'm wrong, tell me the last time you were in Chicago where gun violence is so common that children on playgrounds don't even run at the sound of gunfire. Where is your indignity and your passion for African-American victims of gun violence there every weekend? Don't black lives matter? Yet you and your friends are so determined to disarm us. You, the same woman whose department used CIA operatives to traffic guns through Benghazi to Turkey and then Syria. You, whose pal Barack was fast and furiously sending a automatic weapons across our border to the Mexican cartel for free, some of which were then used to kill us. You, the same woman whose State Department approved a deal from which you personally benefited that sold 25% of America's uranium to Russia with the potential to kill millions of us. And you want to point the finger of blame at law-abiding citizens and the GOP to pursue your pathetic agenda? Now, I'm not going to waste my time telling you that disarming legal gun owners will not put an end to gun violence. There's a little massacre in Chicago every weekend where guns are banned, where the only people who have guns are the criminals. And if that ain't backward thinking, I don't know what is. And you call us rednecks? Give it up, Hillary. Don't try to hold innocent people up to public disdain by saying that we are complicit with a mass murderer. You want to tell us what kind of gun we should have, how much ammunition is enough, whether we should even have guns at all. Here's our collective answer. It's not only no, it's hell no. And we don't need your permission or your sanctimonious condescension as to the reason one should or shouldn't have a gun. I own guns because it's my right. It's my Second Amendment right. No one in Washington gave me that right. It's a natural right confirmed by the very people who founded this nation. And I don't want to hear about your politically correct or your opportunistic nonsense. There's a time and place for everything. And it's time for you to go back into the woods. And that's my open.